My name's Laura and for the next few weeks I'm going to be travelling around my home country Ireland and I can't wait to bring you along with me. In this week's episode we are going on a three day road trip across County Clare. Welcome back to the vlog. In this week's episode we are exploring County Clare starting off with Loop Lighthouse. We're here strolling around checking out the insane scenery and crazy waves. It is so beautiful here and it's such an amazing spot to start off the trip. This is a gorgeous place to go for a nice stroll, check out the views of the Wild Atlantic Way and there's even bubble grass like down Patrick Head. This place is honestly so beautiful, like you could probably spend hours just walking around and enjoying the scenery. We've come to the other side of the lighthouse now and there's these gorgeous cliffs and you can see caves and the birds are flying about and the waves are just crazy. Honestly, so beautiful. Class little country. So the next stop of our trip is the Bridges of Ross and it's another insane spot just to check out the Wild Atlantic Way views. I'm not sure if you can hear me because it is so windy, but it's absolutely class here. Like I really, really like it. We're gonna keep walking on down to see the bridges. Um, but yeah. And there they are. Very cool. Following our visit to the Bridges of Ross, we were back in the car and drove a further 20 minutes down the road to the next destination, which was Kilkey Cliffs. This was probably my favourite spot on our Clare road trip so far. It was just a beautiful place to walk around, enjoy the scenic views of the Wild Atlantic Way and check out those insane looking waves. So we're just driving to Airbnb now and the drive from Kilkey Cliffs to Kilkey Town is just so beautiful. Like it's such a nice drive just to, even just the sights from the car, even if you don't get out, it's just such a class little drive and it's a must do when you're here in this area. So this is our little Airbnb. It's really cute. It's called Lynch's and it's like right in the center of Kilkey Town. There's all our stuff. It looks like we're here for a month. We're here for one night. Well, four nights in total, one night in Ninjas. How cute is this? Good morning! And I'm actually here with Jade, I forgot to introduce her. Hi! Today we are kickstarting the day at Kerr Valley Cliff, so it's just here over to the left. It's very, very windy, but the rain has held off and we're hoping it stays that way. Things happen naturally Like it used to be so there's actually a little cliff walk here. I didn't even expect it. I kind of looked it up in Google Maps and was like, that place looks pretty, I'm gonna go there. But it's actually a class little spot, like I'm really enjoying it. It's very windy. The wind is mighty, so I don't know if you can hear me, but like look, and then you can see Kilkey Town off in the distance and then like gorgeous cliffs and the waves are insane and yeah, it's a nice spot to come, definitely. the next destination which is really all point and the theme of the day is continuing it's still hella windy but it's making the waves look class and it's so wild wild it's to green makes sense um but yeah this is definitely more of a remote location One day it is now sunny. <laughs> We're 
we're at White Strand Beach and it's beautiful here. It's a nice spot and it's really quiet. It could be because of the unpredictable weather, who knows? So we stopped in the Hinge for a bite to eat. We got food in Joe's Cafe, um, but we decided to bring it out and sit on the rocks and just admire the nice view. And yeah, it's like one of my favorite spots in Ireland, just cause I used to come here nearly every summer. Um, but yeah, it's a great spot to go surfing. We decided we're not gonna surf today. The weather's too unpredictable and the waves aren't that big, so. <laughs> Why do I make things complicated? Why do I lose all my control? Oh, oh. I keep on so on our drive, we were just kind of driving along the Wallagrant Grey Coast and we came to Clahane Beach. It's like a viewpoint and we could see off in the distance that there was a cave and we we're like, let's just go see what it looks like. And it looked a lot smaller in person or like from a distance, but this place is huge and it's class. It looks so cool. It's really fun. <laughs> I love when you find things like this and you're not expecting it. It's so cool. So we've made it to Hag's Head. Um, which is kind of like a spot at the Cliffs and Mower, but not the main spot. And it's incredibly windy, as you, as you can tell. <laughs> um, but you do have to pay three euro for parking. And that's something that we didn't actually know, so we didn't bring enough coins with us. So just like a note up, you need to bring three euro coins, uh, just if you're heading out here. But wow, this is, this is a must do. What a look. <laughs> something to save us. Close but with strangers Feel like we're far apart Strip it down So the Cliffs of Moher are the most famous attractions in Ireland so it's kind of cool to see it from here so at Hag's Head you don't have like loads and loads and loads of people there obviously like we're still in the middle of the pandemic so I don't know how busy the visitor centre is but I prefer it this way, like I've gone to Cliffs of Moher more times than I could count and this is much nicer. So the whole thing has like this little kind of trail to stay on. We're staying on like the inside one just because it is so windy and yeah, I don't want to risk going to the edge but look at pretty, look at these little flowers. So we made it back to the room and we hopped in the shower, did ourselves up a little bit. We're heading out for a bit of dinner for the night and we will see you bright and early in the morning because we have a lot more adventuring to do. Good morning. So yesterday we went on a little bit of a staycation from our staycation and we went to Inishin on the Iron Islands. We were actually supposed to go to Inishmore, but we kind of missed the boat. But anyway, I'm going to have a full video on that that you can watch. But we're now at Dunagore Castle. We're just heading up to it now. And it's this gorgeous little castle you can see here behind me. And it's a beautiful little scenery. And it's only like a five minute walk from Doolin. So it's a great little spot. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the next part of the day, we are going to walk the Cliffs of Moher cliff walk from Doolin. Um, you can actually see the castle up here behind us. Um, so it's not too far from there, but you do have to park back in Doolin, which is, we didn't know. So we drove that road like 20 times. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're going to start the walk now. Uh, we're not going to do the full thing because we did Hag's Head the other day. So we're probably going to go to the halfway point again and then turn back. But uh, it'd be nice to see it. We've seen it from all three angles now. So 
So we're just coming up to the main part of the cliffs now. I think it took us like two and a half hours to walk from Doolin. It's a grand walk. The only thing I will say is it's quite overgrown in places. Um, so yeah, you gotta mind your footing, but it's a nice walk. It's a different way to do it. And like, you know, I've done the cliffs from the visitor center so many times. So on this trip, I was like, I just wanna do it from a different perspective. And you, you come out at the visitor center on this walk. So it's a win-win. made it back to Doolin in one piece, tired. <laughs> it was a long old walk, we actually got a taxi back. Um, and we're gonna hop back in the car and explore the rest of Clare before heading to Galway tonight. So we made it to the Burn, which is one of Ireland's national parks. And here's a little fun fact for you. So it comes from the name Burin, um, which is an Irish word, and that translates to rocky place. And you can see behind me, there's loads of rocks so it's a pretty accurate naming uh, we're just driving through today but there's actually loads of walks that you can do and enjoy here you can literally spend hours exploring here but if you're driving in between Clare and Galway it's definitely worth look so beautiful So we continued on driving down the road from the burn and we came across Fenora Beach. Took about five minutes and the drive on the way down is amazing. Like the views, I actually can't describe it, especially on a day like this when it's so sunny. And we're now at Fenora Beach, we're gonna walk down, but you have the burn in the background and then the beach and the big sandy beach. It's so beautiful. It's So this brings us to the end of our Claire vlog. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!